Ahead of WWE Day 1, former Booker and wrestling veteran Dutch Mantel explained that Roman Reigns' current feud with Brock Lesnar has people on the edge of their seats. The uncertainty over what will happen after the events that transpired last night on WWE SmackDown will attract more viewers for the eventual clash between the two stars. After months of doubt and questioning, Roman Reigns asked Heyman one final time to clear himself of any suspicion and reveal why he was protecting Lesnar, Heyman responded that it was the other way around and he was protecting Reigns. This prompted the Universal Champion to fire his special counsel and drop him flat with a Superman punch, as the head of the table prepared to sandwich Heyman's head between two steel chairs, he was interrupted by the Beast Incarnate who then attacked Reigns. On the latest episode of Smack Talk on Sportskeeda Wrestling's YouTube channel, Dutch Mantel sat down with Sid Pullar 3 to review the latest episodes of AEW Rampage and WWE SmackDown, here's what Mantel had to say regarding the doubts sprinkled over this angle, and whether this is all a ruse, or if Heyman has turned babyface. Uncertainty is what makes this angle good because now, you and I are of course, discussing it, that's what we're supposed to talk about, but fans are now thinking I wonder where this is going now, and this is when you get sellouts, when it's interesting, and you don't know really who's gonna win or where it's gonna go, that's when people say I'm gonna go see this, I think, the pay-per-view, will do well. At WWE Crown Jewel, Brock Lesnar challenged Roman Reigns for the WWE Universal Championship and what was the latter's biggest obstacle so far. After going back and forth, Reigns won the match after he used the title belt thrown in by Paul Heyman and even used some help from the Usos, however, he is now set to face Brock Lesnar once again at WWE Day 1. Do you think the head of the table will reign supreme, or will Lesnar manage to topple Reigns' impressive run as the Universal Champion? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Former and longest reigning WWE 24-7 champion R-Truth said he doesn't think Roman Reigns has reached the pinnacle of his career yet. The Tribal Chief has been on an unprecedented run as Universal Champion for over a year, and he's defeated countless main event stars during his reign. He's arguably the greatest heel in the entire industry right now, and the current face of WWE. On the latest episode of WWE After the Bell with Corey Graves, R-Truth had massive praise for Roman Reigns, he stated that the Universal Champion has the it factor and tons of momentum behind him. I don't even think, Roman Reigns has, reached the pinnacle of his career, and he's as hot as a six-shooter right now, he's hotter than a firecracker, he's hotter than hot sauce. He's matured so much, I've seen him succeed to levels and levels, he's bridged gaps, and he has that it factor all around him, man, inside and out, he has the it factor. Roman Reigns is one of the most dedicated superstars in WWE, and his work proves it. He has significantly improved on the mic and in the ring. He found a character that fits him, and he's portraying it perfectly. WWE veteran R-Truth opened up about Roman Reigns' work ethic, stating that the head of the table is always trying to perfect his craft. I've seen him come up with promos in his head, we're driving, and he's constantly working man, constantly trying to perfect his craft. Even when I would go to Florida to his house, he's in the gym at his house, he's thinking of a promo, what do you think of this idea right here, he's a guy that I know for a fact 24-7 he's trying to perfect his craft and take it higher than it can go. Roman Reigns recently reached an incredible milestone of having the longest combined days as a fifth-time world champion in WWE. R-Truth also holds a record for most reigns as 24-7 champion. December 19, 1999, on this fateful night, Goldberg met Bret Hart in the main event of Starcade, with the WCW World Heavyweight title on the line. Hart regrets getting into the ring with Goldberg at the mega event, to this day. He wrestled a total of nine matches in WCW after this career-altering bout, and was then forced to retire due to a concussion that Goldberg's kick gave him. What exactly happened that night? By the end of 1999, both Goldberg and the Hitman were two of the biggest names in pro wrestling. Although WWE was comfortably trumping WCW in the weekly rating war at this point, many fans still had hopes that things would turn around. Starcade 1999 featured one of the biggest main events in the history of the show. The match between Goldberg and Bret Hart lasted just a little over 12 minutes and ended with Hart submitting the former with a sharpshooter. Special official Roddy Piper awarded the victory to him, even though his opponent didn't tap out, in an ending that reminded fans of the Montreal screw job. At one point during the match, Goldberg hit Bret Hart with a kick to the head that eventually resulted in the former WWE superstar getting a concussion. Over the past two decades or so, the hitman has opened up about that kick on various occasions, he isn't someone who minces his words, and made it clear that Goldberg's recklessness caused him millions of dollars, but, you know, I got hurt by Goldberg, and he called me eight months after it happened and told me that he was sorry which, you know, really was irrelevant at that point. He never once called me after it happened, or I don't think he ever understood, or I don't know that he even does now, or even cares that he cost me honestly cost me 16 million dollars in two seconds, and ended my career. And when I hear about Bill Goldberg going to Saudi Arabia and making $3 million for a 10-minute match in Saudi Arabia, I go, you know, you think he would have called me up and said, here, I'm going to send you something for it, said Bret Hart. Hart made his in-ring return after 10 long years, at WrestleMania 26. 
he defeated Vince McMahon in a no-holds-barred lumberjack match at the event. Bret Hart went on to wrestle in several matches over the next one year or so, and also won the United States title on one occasion. Goldberg had a memorable stint in WWE in 2003-2004, which lasted exactly a year. He returned to action 12 years later, and still occasionally wrestles for the company. He has one more match left in his deal, and is bound to square off with a big name in the coming months. Paul Heyman has had his fair share of backstage troubles in WWE and Jim Cornette recently revealed an incident involving Heyman and former writer Brian Gortz. The former WWE writer created several iconic comedy segments and was particularly known for his close association with The Rock. Heyman and Gortz were in WWE's creative team in the early 2000s, and they once had a massive disagreement behind the scenes. Cornette recalled the backstage atmosphere when Heyman and Gortz got into a screaming fight. Here's what Jim Cornette revealed on his drive-through podcast. I guess he, The Rock, loves that thing Brian Gord's character, the comedy writer. Everybody has got a flaw, and The Rock likes the comedy writer. I still wish I could see video of the thing screaming fight that Gord's and Heyman got into, where everybody was like, please let them fight, please let them fight. We got to see this. It was over wrestling because Gord's is a thing comedy writer whether you like him or not, everybody's on different sides of that fence Heyman's a wrestling guy, so, I could see that being enough, said Cornette. Paul Heyman left WWE in 2006 and returned in 2012 when Brock Lesnar made his way back into the company. The WWE manager has taken up multiple roles in the company ever since, and he is presently in the midst of one of the hottest storylines in all of pro wrestling. Roman Reigns recently even fired Paul Heyman on SmackDown, and WWE is expected to book a few more twists in the ongoing Universal title program with Brock Lesnar. WWE Raw certainly needs a surprise or five to make the show exciting again. The show suffers from being an hour too long, and without a few twists and turns along the way, the audience numbers may simply keep declining. We know that when it comes to on-ground events, the red brand isn't packing houses like it once did. Yes, over 1 million TV viewers tune in every week in the United States. But even that number is a pale shadow of the numbers that WWE Raw used to once garner. Do not forget that there is now another player in town called AEW, sure, they have a way to go before they catch up to WWE Raw, but the gap is closing, with the kind of competition prevalent in the marketplace right now, things need to, no pun intended, hit full gear. The crux of the matter is that the Monday night show needs a few surprises in its weekly fare. Yes, Paul Heyman was fired by Roman Reigns on WWE Smackdown this past week. But could this open Heyman's schedule to take on new clients? Could he conspire with Bobby Lashley on WWE Raw in an attempt to dump MVP for him? This tease could go a long way if the eventual plan is to do Brock Lesnar vs Bobby Lashley. This is a match that fans have been clamoring for on social media and the setup could happen as soon as WWE Raw this week. It also allows MVP to potentially approach a new client to mentor. Someone like say, T-Bar, in this manner, the entire landscape of the red brand could see a massive overhaul.